Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Laura with Planet Goals and Crafting. Um, any likes, comments, and or subscribes are always appreciated. I appreciate everyone that's been following me along and commenting and interacting. But today, I have a Halloween craft for you. Um, these are like little treat packs, little type folder thingies you could give to your coworkers, um, kids' teachers, or their uh, uh, classmates. But... This is the finished product, and I'll show you step-by-step step how to make it. Um, I used items that I got in one of my hauls. These are little treats from Target. Um, I'll sh insert a picture here to show you the different packs that I got these out of, but you don't have to use these in particular. Um, these are very customizable, but I used some stickers that they had, a little eraser. Um, there's a pen in there and a notebook and a little, little activity book um all right so let's get started you're going to need your paper trimmer some stickers or pattern paper to decorate um your scoring tool um some ribbon or you could make a belly band as a closure instead and also some glue i prefer the glue instead of tape because you're going to need to get to those edges um very thin edges so that stuff can stick in there but it doesn't get caught um, as you're putting things in there um, you're going to need some contrasting maybe orange is what i have and then um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of black cardstock um, double-sided is great if you have it um, this is from Walmart it's one of the heavier papers um, it's nice and thick so that it will hold up pretty well and not bend or um, tear easily okay and then you're gonna need your scoring board and some scissors all right so let's get started so on the short side you're going to score your paper at uh, four inches and also at four and a half inches all the way down and it'll be the same on the long end so you're going to turn counterclockwise again scoring at four and four and a half all right so then we're going to cut down um, part of this so cut uh, sorry measure it down to four and then cut it down to that second score line so that's going to be cutting down to four and a half okay don't go too fast so you don't go past that all right so then now you're going to turn this counterclockwise and measure this to four and a half um, you're going to be scoring down that I'm sorry cutting down to that second score line to meet your other um, cut that you have there so down to seven inches and you're going to keep this um, to the side because you're going to need that and we are going to flip this over because we're going to cut down that edge there so we need to measure to eight and a half and cutting off that piece there that you're also going to keep too so this is going to be your folder and you want to burnish and fold all of those scoring lines um, to the inside um, you can use your bone folder or your hands this is pretty thick so i could hold it pretty easily and so there you go there you have the flaps. Now you can choose how you want to orient it, but for the sake of having the cover go one direction, I'm going to show you this way. All right, so that little piece that you had, you're gonna just cut off a sliver of that side because you want it to go over that flap but not obstruct anything. So just barely, you're gonna do like a 16th of an inch. So just a sliver. All right, and so we're going to do some more cutting while we're at it. Um, all right, so we're going to need two strips that are three and a half inches by half an inch. Um, so the two straps that are going to hold the little notebook and the activity book down, that's what this is going to be for. 
So three and a half by half an inch, and we're going to need two of these. Okay, and then we're gonna need one strip that is two inches by half an inch, and just one of these. This one's going to be the loop that fits over the pen, so it doesn't need to be um, as long. Okay, let's start assembling these onto the folder. Um, so let's do the big piece first. Um, so this one we want to put glue just along three sides or three edges right along the edge um, so that it doesn't take up too much space on the inside. So just a thin bead um, all the way around the two short sides and one of the long sides. Um, and then that glue edge is going to line up to the bottom of the folder, or that side of the flap, I should say. And you want to get that flush to the bottom, and you can do it flush to the fold there too. Um, it shouldn't really obstruct it when you fold it over because it's pretty big to begin with, that um, binding part there. So yeah, it should have some give, and the glue helps you put it in place if you misalign it for whatever reason. Okay, let's do the pen loop now. So we're gonna get the shorter um, piece that we cut and grab your pen and loop it around um, the barrel and you're gonna want to kind of form it around to make it kind of, I don't know how you say it, but looped around it and line up those edges. Um, put a little bit of glue just to get that tab to close. You don't want too much glue in there because you don't want it to um, get stuck to the pen because it still needs to be able to slide in and out. And then just hold it in place for a little bit um, so it has time to stick to itself so it doesn't come apart when you put it down. So just for a moment there. All right, so then you can see it still slides, but it's still snug. And put that off to the side, let it finish drying. And we're going to do the strips at the um, top and bottom. So this one for the activity folder, you want it to be about half an inch from the top and then maybe a quarter inch from each side. Um, and again, we're just going to put some glue along the very edges um, and get that sort of centered towards the top, but just enough room so it's not um, off center along the sides. Okay, so let's do the bottom one. This one's going to be more um, to the left, um, and you're only gonna have maybe about an eighth of an inch from the top. This one's a little bit smaller, but also we need it a little bit to the side to make room for the pen. So again, putting just a little bit of glue on each of the sides there on the edges and put it flush to the left side first and stick down the other side. Okay. So let's um, cut up these stickers. I'm going to cut them into fourths so that they fit better in that little pocket. So you've got two in each strip. And we're gonna start assembling the inside. Um, I fan out the stickers so that you can see them better. And they fit very well in there. Um, don't fan them out too much because they're gonna stick out at the top, but just make them flush so they don't get bent. And then you can put the eraser. Um, put that more towards the right of the folder, not so much to the center or to the left, so it doesn't get in the way of the pen. Okay, so this is the activity book. 
that came in one of those packs has some stickers, some games, and then some like coloring pages. So get the back flap of that book and slide it into that top strip. It's going to be snug, but that's the point so that it doesn't slip out, but also so that they can take it in and out um, without too much trouble. And go ahead and push that down. And this is one of the other little notebooks. This one's just uh, blank paper. And put that one in. Um, we're going to attach the pen. So we don't want anything to obstruct or anything to get in the way. Um, and you're going to want the tab to be facing to the left. And also your pen cap clip to be facing to the left and just hold that in place for a minute okay and then there's a little blank space under that notebook so I'm just gonna put one of those foam stickers in there and if I didn't say I got those foam stickers um, at Target also in the Halloween section okay so we're gonna cut two contrasting colored squares. I have orange because Halloween. You're going to need um, three and a half by three and a half. So both of them will be three and a half by three and a half. And you don't need your paper cutter anymore. All right. And then for the closure, I'm going to use about a 20 piece inch of ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I like closing it so that the um, stickers are on the inside, not the top flap. So we're gonna eyeball the glue just through the center of the back flap and center that ribbon as well. You don't need to wait for the ribbon to dry because we're gonna put some paper on top and just get that glue all the way over in the corners and the edges and on the uh, middle to keep it in place. Um, now you don't have to use plain, you can use pattern paper, glitter paper, um, you can layer different things, um, but I'm just basically showing you a method and however you like to do them, you do you. So getting that centered and nice and pressed down. Okay, so I unfolded it so I could remind myself which was the front flap. So I'm gonna attach this one the same way. And once that is aligned, I'm going to go ahead and pick out some more stickers and put them on the front. That's what I have as far as Halloween stuff goes for decorations. So use some glitter bat and white skull and a little star kind of looks like there. Okay, so this is it mostly assembled. Just make sure everything is lined up there and in place. So there you go. You've got your little activity book. It slides in and out. It's pretty secure. Um, everything else too. Um, I really liked how this turned out and they're really cute for just some little gifts and treats to give people. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bow here but I also didn't like how it was blocking one of the stickers and then some of it just looked really plain so I'm just gonna add a little bit more to make it look nice but I hope you all enjoyed this um, I enjoyed making it for you let me know what you think and um, I hope everyone is taking care and having a good day or night wherever they are um, but have yourself a nice Halloween bye